Samantha Nisha Bonna and today we are going to have a math lesson on the topic mensuration. In this video we are going to learn how to find the area and perimeter of triangles. And also we are going to solve some problems related to this. So let's start. To find the perimeter of a triangle all we need to do is add the three sides together. For example if the sides are 12 cm, 10 cm and 8 cm we will add these three sides together 10 plus 8 plus 12 centimeter to get our perimeter which will be 30 centimeter in this case but to find the area of triangles we have different formulas if the triangle is a right angle triangle we use the formula half into base into height a right angle triangle looks like this this is our height and this is our base and we use the formula half into base into height if the triangle is not a right angle triangle then it might look something like this and assuming that the height and the base is given we can use the formula half into base into height again. However, we need to note one thing that in this triangle neither this side nor this side is the height of the triangle. The perpendicular height is the height of the triangle and where it lands is the base of the triangle so the perpendicular line will be the height and this where the height is landing is the base of the triangle moving on if we don't know the height of the triangle we can use the formula half into a into b to sine theta in order to use this formula, we need to know two sides and their included angle. So, half AB, AB sine theta. Finally, if we have an equilateral triangle, assuming the sides are A, and we don't know the included angle and we don't know the height of the triangle. So in this case, we need to know the formula a square root 3 divided by 4. So if a equals to 8, then we will substitute a with 8. So 8 square root 3 divided by 4 equals to 16 root 3. So these are the four formulas we need to know if we want to find the area of triangles. Now let's solve some related questions which actually came in the O-level examination. First of all, question number one says that triangle ABC, which is this one, has a height of 8 cm and an area of 42 cm square. Calculate the length of BC. Here, the area is given, which is 42 cm square, and the height is given, which is 8 cm. And we need to find BC. Here, BC is the base. So, we need to find the base, which is unknown. So, here, we know the area and we know the height and we need to find the base. So we can use the formula half into base into height equals to area. So now let's put the values half into base is BC into height which is 8 centimeter equals to area which is 42 centimeter square then let's take this two to the other side 42 multiply with 2 
divided by 8. So we get the value of BC which is 10.5 centimeter and this is our answer. In question number 2 we can see that a triangle is given and two sides are given and one included angle. And it says calculate the area of triangle ABC. So this is triangle ABC and we have to find the area. Here we have two sides and an included angle. So when we have two sides and an included angle, we use the formula half into A into B into sine theta. So here we can say that this is our A. So half into 9 into this is our B. 15 into sine 28 degree is our theta. So if we calculate this, we will get 31.7 centimeter square and this is our answer. And finally, we have one last question. Question number three, it says in triangle ABC, here is triangle ABC, AB equals to six centimeter, AC equals to eight centimeter, and BC equals to 12 centimeter. Angle ACB, ACB equals to 26.4 degree. Calculate the area of the triangle ABC. So we need to find the area of this triangle. Use the formula half into A into B into sine theta. We have to take two angles and their included angle. And in this triangle, we know this angle, which is ABC, we know angle ABC. So we are going to take this side, CB and CA, which is 8 centimeter and 12 centimeter. So let's put the values A equals to 12 centimeter, B equals to 8 centimeter and sine theta, which is 26.4 degree. And we will get 21.3 centimeter square as our answer. Here we have three sides given, but we have one angle only. So we are going to take these two sides as their included angle. The angle between them is given. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. If you find this helpful, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our Instagram and Facebook page. The link will be in the description box below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!